find the market, find the fish, bring it back, cook an amazing dinner. I'll see you on the road. All right guys, so we're on our way to the fish market. We saw some boats pulling up on the beach, so we're gonna cruise over here and uh, see if they have fresh fish right off the boat. So uh, follow me this way. So where's the best place to get a fresh local fish? Uh, okay, maybe the, the fresh one, but so better you can find. So the first time coming from the boat. Okay. That's the best fish. Yeah. And what's the best way to check to see how fresh it is? Maybe, like I always smell. Maybe any, smell. Anything else you check for? The, the color, if you touch. Like firm? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like that, so and that, you look at the eyes too? Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So maybe sometimes if the fish is fresh, so the eyes is still black, yeah. Still black, yeah. okay. And maybe if not fresh, the color of the eyes may be a little bit white. And what about the gills? Do you look at the gills? Yeah, or? also. Same. Maybe, right. <laughs> More of it. Okay. Okay. So, for fresh fish, you want to feel how firm it is. Uh, you can smell it. If it smells fishy, it's not fresh. And then he said to look at the eyes. So, if the eyes are like clear and black still, that's good. If they have like a white gloss over them, it's not as fresh. And the gills, you're looking for like kind of a bright red color. So, we're gonna go back check out the fish market. We just got some awesome knowledge. Always ask the locals. It's the best way to learn. Yeah. Thank you, brother. The big tuna is a lot better than the little one, but we're looking for maybe like a white fish, something we can cook in the pan. Uh, so that's not quite what we want, but I know that's a very popular fish in the Indonesian culture. So uh, we'll see if we can, what else we can find. So let's go back over here. There's tons of fish everywhere, but we're looking for something more like a snapper, a white fish and we're kind of exploring all the parts of the market. I think a lot of this fish is getting like shipped out to other parts of the island or potentially other locations. So uh, we're gonna check out up here and we're just gonna cruise around and see what we can find. So let's go. We just found a new kind of fish we've never tried. And uh, check it out over here. I think we're gonna give this guy a try. I might even buy a few kinds of fish because I don't know all these fish, so I'm just gonna learn new stuff. We'll see how they taste. But I also wanna get at least like one snapper because I know you guys can get that in Mexico. So check this guy out here. All right guys, so we just found another section of the fish market. I forgot to mention earlier, what I like to do is just walk around, check everything out before choosing to buy something. And I'm excited to see what we can find, so let's check it out. Wow, so there's a lot of red snapper in here and uh, all kinds of crazy cool fish. <laughs> We got a sea bass here. Smell it, that doesn't smell very fishy. I'm gonna ask him if he'll scale it and gut it for us, cause we're just gonna cook it up in the pan. So if you can have them do that kind of stuff, like scale, gut, debone for you at the market, it saves you a lot of time when you're at home. So let's see if he'll do it for us. And we're gonna get one of these. Thank you, brother. So we just did a walkthrough of the market. Um, we saw a ton of really cool fish, cool shellfish, shrimps, prawns, um, and we also saw some really nice red snappers. So we're gonna get a red snapper. I'm gonna show you a super simple, easy way to cook it up in a Royal Prestige pan. So let's go get some. Yeah, it smells fresh. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so we got the, uh, the fish here in the bag. That was a super wild experience. I'm looking forward to going back, learning more, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna pack it up, I'm gonna chuck it in the cooler, and we're gonna head back home. We're just on our way back from the fish market, and we stopped at a local produce market. We're gonna get some veggies to cook dinner, so come on this way. What I'm looking for is like some fresh herbs. I'm thinking about doing like some green beans. I'm gonna do a sambal, which is like similar to a salsa, but it's kind of like Indonesia's version of a salsa. So these tomatoes look uh, nice and red and ripe. So they, I can feel they have, have a good vibration. And I'm gonna get some. Hello. Can I get some of these? I already have some of the ingredients at home, but uh, I'm gonna get some green beans. With green beans, the smaller and like younger they are, the more tender and delicious. Um, these aren't super small, but they're smaller than the other ones I've seen, so I'm gonna grab uh, two packs of green beans. And it's kind of nice if you can get them not in the plastic, because then you can actually choose the ones you want, but these look pretty nice. And then there's some basil there, so I'm gonna get some basil, we'll make a sauce with that. Hello. Hello. Phew. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from the fish market. I got the fish in here. So I'm gonna cook this up tonight in the uh, live cooking class. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of these bags, rinse it, and I'll put it in either a Ziploc or on a plate, and I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge. You just wanna make sure your fridge is nice and cold so it keeps it nice and fresh. Um, thank you guys for going on the adventure with me. I encourage you to go to local markets, go on adventures, make eating fun, exciting, and adventurous. We'll see you tonight. Woo!